doesn't matter if when you say you love me. It doesn't matter if when you say you love me. It doesn't matter if when you say you love me. It doesn't matter if when you say you love me. It doesn't matter if when you say you love me. It doesn't matter if when you say you love me. It doesn't matter. It goes into my head as just chit chat. I feel nice. like so. Let's transition into in your new music. For those of you who don't know, she is still putting out heat. Oh my god! You just you just put out uh, real in the city. Yeah, real in the city came out, and then also um, before real in the city dropped, I had a song that I did with one of my producers called Keep Keep Moving, and it is also an all American. So that dropped before the pandemic. I had a new song in, a, in a, the hottest series that was out twenty twenty. And all American shout out to everybody involved in the show. So, when you just dropping this mu new music, you are kind of new to like you know the newer generation who probably don't know your history. But then but you that's still all got the time. time. Mm -hmm. That's every that's every ten years because it's, mm -hmm. it's a new right. generation gonna come. So I have to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it, it's cool because because of your history you got mm -hmm. the best of both worlds because now you streaming now but then you know <laughs> what it's like to actually have to put in leg work yeah and actually yeah. have to like <laughs> keep connections solid true and, and you know do the right thing behind the scenes because it always comes back around yeah regardless yeah. of you know what you might be doing now so how does that like benefit you how do, how do you how would you say it benefits you to have the background that you got doing music now in the new social media world with the streaming and all that it just went to show it only goes to show that a lot of people can give good advice but the best teacher is experience the best yeah, it's hands-on. Uh, me being a part of the generation of CDs and all of that, and then transitioning in the middle before e everybody even got to know me. So even though I was on a hot single, you know, you can do it, um, people didn't know who I, I was. So my challenge was, okay, I'm always going to be innovative and I'm going to evolve with everybody. What are we doing? Oh, it's the internet. So I created a, a, a lane for my assistant to come in and do what she does best, which is the internet, and show me what do I need to do and how to tap into my people. Because I'm not everywhere. I'm not on Black Planet. I'm not on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so many different places to advertise. You know what I'm saying? But because your generation, and that's who I have around me, uh, has so much knowledge of the internet that they shared with me, that I was like, I would love to join forces with the new generation just so that they won't be like my peers who didn't want to know who I was because yeah. of my talents and my gifts. You guys were embracing me because this song and this music was in Save the Last Dance. Some, yeah. You know, pretty good places where you guys really was able to tune in to good music and voices. And it didn't even matter if they knew what I looked like. I was getting a good rapport from the energy I was getting. Like, oh, damn, this generation is on this. Let me share this. Let me do this. And put these uh, other people dancing behind the music and then watch it go. And I'm at over 100,000 on one of those videos on my like page. So I was like, dang, they really, you know what I'm saying? The squad really know what they're doing. Yeah, so I feel like that's music. what even sets you apart from um, artists from back in the day who kind of get lost in the sauce because a lot of artists from back in the day, they don't want to fool with the dang, you know, internet or Facebook yeah. or any of that, that. <laughs> that was Facebook. That's in my Man. new song too. Weird old it's talk. I'll just have all that falling out on Facebook. You know, I had to throw that on in there. That shit is funny. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of them. It, it did. A lot of them don't know how to really utilize the internet. So it's like some of yeah. them they still doing music and it's good, yeah. but they don't know how to market it on the internet. So they might they not have a few. I agree. I agree a hundred percent with you. They don't market it. They don't promote it. But that's the key of being an innovator is staying yeah. up with the times, regardless of how you feel about it. Because yeah, yeah, you know the internet can be draining sometimes. But at the end of the day, we know this is where the world is. We can't yeah. we 
sometimes we can't live with it. We can't live without it. And then but before we, need we didn't it. even have access to our fans and our fans didn't have access to us. So if <clears> I'm going <throat> to utilize that one little thing, that's a key thing is that I have access to my fans. And if I say, hey, guys, I'm uh, Operation One Million. And then in that same year, I get the motherfucking million. That means somebody listening. If my fans say, uh, Miss Toy, when you dropping some music, God damn it, next Friday, tomorrow, because you asking for it, you know what I'm saying? It's so high on demand that I could do it like that with y'all. Right, that's the beauty. Why that's am I making beauty. you wait? Why am I making you wait? You know what I'm saying? Because I asked you to stream and you did. So I got some more shit for you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to always get a Christmas gift from me all year. It's, it's, we going to do this as long yeah, as I'm able. Put in that work, Miss Toy. That's just a beautiful I love it. sight to see. So, yeah, you, you, you got the million streams, and then yeah. tell us about Lovely Radio. For those of you who don't know, she's a radio host, okay? <laughs> like, damn, bam. Okay, so oh, tell us about man. Lovely Radio. Lovely Radio was created 2012. Um, I started with a room full of every, all the artists I was working with with a table full of liquor. <laughs> and um, <laughs> microphones and you know it turned into something real lovely because I have a rapport so once I came back on all platforms you know I've had Carl Thomas on I've had all my producer months I've had you on yes. I've had so many great artists and tonight you know I have a, a great producer that's coming on because every Thursday night 7 p.m pacific standard time I'm on lovely radio spreaker.com and I'm hosting one of the greatest hip-hop shows ever because if you own your music you can uh, send me your music and I will play it you know what I'm saying and then yeah. you also learn about publishing and music business from artists who working right now to this day and for me personally because I do this shit with them and you gonna just get some game it's jewels dropped on the show all all week you know jewels so any artists like if you want to let them know how they can like submit or get in the show or what are like yes. the requirements to be a part of lovely radio oh in order for you to be on my show you have to share this show right here if you share this Damn. show <laughs> then send in your mp3 in your bio to goe at mistoymusic.com and then I see your link that you shared our show. Then I'll put your music in rotation for sure. You know? Okay, y'all. you can talk about maybe an interview later. But yeah, you have to share the show. And that's the only way right now. Y'all heard that. You want to get connected, okay, with real deal. Yeah. With the real deal, Miss Toy Man. That is awesome. Yeah. So you got the radio show going. So is there anything else that you like working on, you know, having the boss status that you have, you know, behind the scenes, <laughs> just shutting it down in the shadows. I love it. I'm working with B-Fly right now. That's the game, sister. We're building a catalog together. She just dropped Nacho Bitch, and I'm featured on that song today. And um, that is out right now. And I just dropped a single with us. It's called On Everything. And that's both songs produced by K-Waz. And it's another female that we have to, you know, give her flowers. You know what I'm saying? I'm one, but I have another female for y'all that's incredible that I'm working with. And her name is B-Fly. Make sure y'all go look her up. B.F.L.Y. B-Fly. All right? And, so, and more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, I'm working with a lot of uh, my producers right now, me and JPEG got about 15 new songs I'm looking at right now that's mixed and mastered. I've been dropping every month, pretty much. I mean, I got um, mm -hmm. everything big out, direct deposit out, um, track snatched. And then, like I said, um, the No Love just dropped. That's KY's track. But uh, tomorrow, it will be a new song called Supportive that's coming out. And that's why today is so special because there's been so much support coming from all different directions. And I just wanted to give them my soft side. You know, I sing a little bit. So, you know, sometimes I give y'all a little bit of hip hop and R&B. So supportive is that. So yeah, go on it in my catalog and you'll see I do multiple things. I'm not just a rapper. I do okay. <laughs> so you got, so you got something dropping tomorrow, uh, yeah. October 30th. Yeah. So y'all be on the lookout for that, October 30th. And today is my pop's birthday, and tomorrow is my niece Jasmine's birthday. So shout out to both of them, Scorpios. Scorpio season is full because we still got some more birthdays in November, but today yeah. is actually my pop's birthday. 
<laughs> Happy birthday, Pops! <laughs> and me, Scorpio season. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah.